Hi there, and welcome to Consensus. This is Nellie Deutsch, and I'm going to walk you through what you can do on Consensus for research. You add a question, as I have, compare male and female users and motion sickness in virtual reality. Now, that's a question that I came up with. Let's see what happens when I click on search. And here goes. Right, so you can see that Consensus is trying to make sense of my question. There we are. All right, so now that we have this page, I'm going to go to Filter. Not sure what's coming up here. VR sickness has unequal effects across individual differences, such as motion, sickness, gender, and real-world experience. And then over here as well, users experience more motion sickness and horror. Okay, um, not really related. Women are not necessarily more susceptible to motion sickness than men. Gender effect, there's no significant relationship, gender and motion sickness rates, but women are more susceptible. Yeah, so what's going on here? All right, so uh, notice I have um, a few credits left here. Uh, let's take a look at um, the filter. I'm going to go into the filter and look for uh, research that is more current, hopefully and uh, open access so I can read the articles without having to go through my university. And then I'm going to click on apply down there and see what happens now. Plasma coronary. How is this related? Notice what's happening here. It's using, or maybe it's not, uh, upgrade again, copilot, not enough relevant results. I would say that is definitely the case here. Not enough for results, but there is something here about having unequal. All right, that's from 2021. I wanted something more current. I'm not getting any current except for this one, 2023. Visually induced uh, motion sickness. And women are not necessarily again. We went through that. There's another one from 23 and here's an interesting article on music pleasant music is helping uh, reduce the severity of that's nice gender differences may be driven by susceptibility rather than gender right so is virtual <laughs> virtual reality is sexist, but it does not have to be. Okay, so here's something from 2020. Okay, so is it sexist? That's the question that I was after. Uh, a deep motion sickness predictor induced by visual stimuli and virtual reality. Now this looks interesting from 2020. I guess not enough research out there. So um, I... Um, call on anyone who's interested in the topic to um, go ahead and research it. But basically, that's how you do it. Once you get an article, and I think that, um, let me take a look at this one about uh, sexist. That's from 2020, but that's okay. So what happens here? Notice it's highly cited. Okay, that's fine. And I can save it, I can cite it, and I can share it. Now, look what happens when I cite it. I get all these options here, MLA, Chicago, Harvard, and uh, BibTeX. But, okay, so I can copy this, copy the text. As soon as I decide, and I do use APA. If you go into the share of the same, we just go to the share. Notice we can share it on X, X Twitter. And we can share this and our AI-powered answer, include that. You can copy the text or you can copy the link. So these are nice options. That's um, consensus. If you're interested, try it. And let me know what you think. You can also export CSV. All right, that's also possible. Notice you can also um, synthesize click on that, but I think that's only for the paid version. So what do you think 
of consensus. Notice uh, it renews every month, so you get a few credits per month, which I think is pretty reasonable, so make sure that uh, you're okay with the question. You might want to get some help from ChatGPT, Bing, or Gemini to make sure that you are straight to the point and you know what you're looking for so you don't lose any of these credits. Thank you.